Hello everyone and welcome to the Friday email. Sometimes when we get caught up in the things that are happening in our lives, sometimes we forget or we don't take the opportunity to slow down and see all of the things that are happening around us. I know I can speak for myself and say that I do that very, very often. I think of the time recently where I was on FaceTime with a friend and they were the one that pointed out to me, wow, the sky is really blue where you are. And I was just so busy that I didn't even realize how beautiful things were around me, but they did. And so sometimes we just get busy and those things happen. But I wanted to take this opportunity to remind you all of some of the exciting things that we have coming up at the church. While Lent is happening, sometimes our lives are busy, sometimes we've had the opportunity to slow down, but there is a lot happening this weekend and in the coming weeks as we are still in the midst of our Lenten disciplines. On Saturday, you can come and join us from 9 a.m. to noon and help us clean up the churchyard. We hope you will join us for that. On Sunday afternoon, we have our monthly Eden song at 5 p.m. So I hope you'll join us on Sunday afternoon for that. And coming up on the 17th of March, which, wow, 17th of March is already right around the corner. We hope that your young people and even you will join us for our annual Linton Pretzel Making Sunday School class. It is an annual tradition here and our young people love it. So I hope you'll join us for that. Your young people and you all are welcome. Along with some of those special things that are coming up, we have our regular Tuesday and Wednesday gathering of our Lenten series that you are welcome to join in with. And you can keep up with the saints that are going head to head in Lent madness in our parish hall. The saints that I have as the final two saints going head to head at the end are still in it. So I am hopeful that my bracket doesn't get busted anytime soon. Speaking of our Lenten series, I wanted to end with this prayer that was offered as a blessing at the end of our time together on Wednesday that I really loved. It just really hit home with me. And so I hope that you will also enjoy this. It's from Kate Bowler and it is a Lenten blessing for transformation. Let us pray. You got it right as poets do, Mr. Gerard Manley Hopkins. You with the whimsical name and the solemn truth that the world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. And that despite all that humans are and do, there lives the dearest freshness deep down things and it calls to us it speaks a wisdom that shines through the cracks of all that is broken all that is incomplete a beauty so strong that it calls to us saying come all is prepared the table is ready here is the food that will sustain you the peace that will settle you and strengthen you and make you able to do the next small and loving thing. We can't change the world, but we can come near to you, O oh God, and become those who are willing to receive and be changed. Amen. Have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend, my friends.